Pardis Di is not a place you Fatui can just show up and do as you please. I believe we've already made ourselves quite clear. Our superior gave us permission to search for and collect medicinal herbs in Pardis Di for research purposes. But you've been in Sumeru for some time already. I find it coincidental that you chose to only come here today. Even the Grand Sage himself may not have the right to question our research much less an ordinary scholar like yourself. I've done my duty to inform you. Don't make things difficult for yourself. It would seem that my words have fallen on deaf ears. You can keep trying to deny it, but coming to Party's DI now? I'm pretty sure you're not just looking for herbs. With all due respect, your baseless speculations will only lead to unnecessary trouble. Well, you only have your harbinger to blame. He knows nothing about keeping a low profile. I may be staying at Party's DI as a scholar, but that doesn't mean I'm no longer a forest watcher. It is still my duty to protect the peace and safety of the scholars who have contributed so much to Sumeru. Then it seems our conversation has hit an impasse. No one will lay a hand on you, Hapasia. Not on my watch! I'm fine. These Fatui have really crossed the line. Time to teach them a lesson. There's no use resisting. Give us Hapasia. Keep dreaming. Yeah, Tainari, beat him up! This isn't good. Gather, let's move. Into the wind. So the doctor's orders are absolute. Yeah? You've been someone's lapdog for so long that you don't know anything else now. Stay right there. This is it. Be still. I may have overestimated. We're not getting anywhere. Traveler, Paimon, please go to Hypasia. We need to make sure they don't try to sneak around and attack from behind. Got it! <sighs> Hypasia's still here. Doesn't look like anyone's broken in. Good. So, you think this is over? What? The Balladeer is here? <laughs> I've missed that look of abject horror. You've given me that look every time we meet. But, uh, where is he? I can hear all of your thoughts, you know. Don't you remember? I already saw you the first time you came to Pardis Di and made contact with Hypasia. I didn't need to do anything. It is her honor to be able to connect her consciousness 
with me. Uh, who are you talking to? It can't be the Balladeer, right? <laughs> That's impossible. I know you must be curious. I might as well tell you that I decided to enter Hapasia's consciousness the moment I sensed your touch. I wanted to observe you on a fool's errand. Uh, hey! Traveler! What are you doing? My deification is nearly complete. All that's left now are just some final details. Do you understand? Even if you manage to rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali, it will be impossible for you to defeat a bona fide god like me. Is it wise to force that childlike god into a divine battle against me? Scholars consider the god of wisdom to be the sum total of their faith. It's how they can justify reverence for a god as they construct it. But this also shows that humanity's worship of gods is a combination of blasphemy and exaltation. It's truly laughable. Yes, what is it? Yeah, I'm in a good mood, which is why I'm talking to you like this. What do you mean? <laughs> Those words almost make you sound like a friend who actually cares. But you're wrong. I'm different from all of you. I was born to become a god. My entire life up until this point has just been a meaningless routine. Just think about a sheet of paper. By itself, it holds no meaning. The content recorded on it is what gives it value. All I had recorded down before were some painful memories and boring human feelings. Such senseless drivel should have been erased a long time ago. Indeed, to me, the sight of you fools in your futile struggles is far more amusing. Tell me, just what has this world done for you to protect it with such zest and conviction? I'm connected to your consciousness, so I can hear what you're thinking and sense the depth of your determination. This is a good conversation we're having. So here's a word of advice. Let go of your misguided guardian complex. You know nothing about the truth. It'll be for your own good, as well as everyone else's. Humans are a species that can only find bliss in ignorance. Ah, you've seen my affection for her. If you were in my position, I think you'd feel the same way. She peered into my consciousness and saw my past. Someone like that is qualified to become my first follower. All gods need followers. So Hapasia has been chosen. Her appearance heralds my imminent arrival at the throne of divinity, while her worship shall become... My glory. You're doubting me again? No matter. Soon, you'll know what kind of authority you're challenging. Who wants to hurt my devout follower? The doctor wants to hurt my first follower? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha!
<laughs> How very amusing. Has anyone ever told you that you're not good at sewing discord? The doctor has never known his place. Even now, the puny human thinks himself capable of interfering in the business of the new god. You're still too naive if you think a few words will be enough to convince me to destroy the doctor. But I'm willing to give you a gift, just like my expression of affection towards Hapasia. It is an honor for you to be able to stand here and speak with me. As my listener, you will be rewarded. Both good things and bad things can be called gifts. After all, gods have never needed to be reasonable. Naka was always scared of thunder as a child. Until one day, Mother told her that the sound of thunder is the voice of the Almighty Shogun. Oh! Have the Fatui retreated? Hey! What happened to you? He's hurt. I'm fine. <sighs> Don't move. I've seen Aramites get struck by lightning before. You need to rest. Struck by lightning? We were fighting, and just as things started looking grim, the weather suddenly became extremely strange. Lightning started attacking everyone, almost as if it were alive. Luckily, there were only two of us, and both of us were nimble enough to dodge most of the strikes. There were a lot of Fatui, though, and they were being torn to shreds by the bolts of lightning. With that... All the Fatui soldiers were forced to retreat. It's all right. My wound aside, you look like you've seen something unpleasant. Is Hapasia all right? Hey, didn't I tell you not to move? Just in case. Let's go to Hapasia's place and talk about things there. She's fine. Hey, how about taking care of yourself first? I understand my condition. Ugh. The wound is not fatal. I'll be all right. Ugh. The more you understand medicine, the worse of a patient you become. I know. They always think they can push through the pain. Oh, he sat down. Let me rest for a bit. <sighs> Sorry, Traveler. Now you may start. So that's what you were talking to the Balladeer about? Oh, Paimon can't believe what he's thinking! <sighs> the Academia's... God creation plan. <sighs> How ridiculous. That sounds, uh, ambitious, I guess? Anyway, this is all way beyond me. 
As long as I can enjoy every day with a drink in my hand, tasty food in my stomach, and a good night's rest, that's enough. I'll only work when I have to. <laughs> I must be the least ambitious person who's ever set foot in Party's DI. Don't say that. I haven't even thanked you for your help back there. Don't mention it. Well, if nothing else, all this proves that the doctor really did have some urgent matter to attend to, and left Sumeru in a hurry. Hmm, maybe the Fatui want to cover up some secret of the Balladeer. Is that why they tried to seize Hapasia? You said the Balladeer claimed that Hapasia has seen his past. So, what could be there? Have you noticed? The Balladeer is not happy with the Doctor's actions. He thinks the Doctor has no right to consider himself as his equal. So, if the Doctor was to show up again, would the Balladeer zap him with lightning? Based on what the Traveler has said, I think he would. Having the Doctor gone benefits him as well as us. In other words, we've successfully completed this stage of the plan. The Doctor is out of the picture now. Yay! That's a big accomplishment! <sighs> I'm also happy for you. Thank you for the help, Tainari. Make sure you rest up for now. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, that wraps things up for us here at Party's DI. Traveler, it's about time we rendezvous with the others at the Grand Bazaar. Let's continue to keep a low profile. You can head there once you're ready. You can just focus on your plan. Leave a patient to me. My wound isn't going to get in the way. Oh. Okay. Guess I'll sit still for a little while longer.
All right, everyone is here. How did everything go? Any luck with your missions? Let's report back one by one. I'll start first. We've made the necessary modifications to the Akasha Terminal. In addition, the props required are also ready. I'll go next. The Traveler and I went to Party DI. The situation was a bit... complicated, but we found Tainari. Unfortunately, he was wounded during a fight. Who was behind it? Uh, well, that's the tough part. What should I say, Traveler? The Fatui? Or the Balladeer? Hmm. After some back and forth, we confirmed that the doctor has left Sumeru by boat. He has something urgent to attend to back in Snezhnaya. So, we've successfully removed the doctor from the picture. Also, Tainari's already resting, so he'll be okay. Hmm. <laughs> Good. Oh! Tainari also asked us to tell you this message. Trust your own senses and experiences. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. I'll remember that. Everything also went smoothly on my side. The Aramites should have arrived at their destination by now. To avoid alerting the quarry, they will stay there for now. I can't believe you actually got so many Aramites into Sumeru City. It's all thanks to Ramon and his brave team, as well as their bold strategy. It appears to have been very effective. I'm glad to hear it. Well, is that everything? Okay, this meeting is adjourned. Huh? Wait, you mean that's it? Well, what else is there to discuss? Shouldn't you end with some words of encouragement? You know, to fire us up now? Personally, I'd rather we all go home and get some rest. Hmm. I'll hate them, you... Ugh. Oh, and if you wanted someone to say something to that effect, then I must reiterate that I'm here to strategize and not to lead so you should find someone more suitable to do that. But I thought all of you Academia Big Shots were great speakers. Then I should remind you that I'm the scribe. I know that. So what? A scribe is responsible for recording meetings, not speaking. Fine, whatever. Well, Sino doesn't seem to be much of a talker either. I guess that leaves it to my employer. Employer? Yep. The Traveler hired me. <laughs> That's right. So come on, boss. What do you have to say for the team? Yeah! Say something to boost morale! Huh? What are you all doing here? Oh! It's Nero! Hey, everyone. I'm not disturbing you, am I? Not at all. I was actually just about to go find you. Uh, judging from the group and all your serious faces, you were discussing something important, weren't you? But you also look like you're up to no good. <laughs> Seems pretty interesting. Welcome, Nilu. Would you like to join us? Huh? Join you? You mean, you also want to discuss something important? With me? Yes. Something very important. Nilu, are there any breaks in your performance schedule in the upcoming days? Huh? Wait, you're seriously inviting me? I... I can't believe my ears! You are truly the bravest and most passionate people of Sumeru, well, that I've ever met. Ahem. <clears throat> oh, right. The Traveler and Paimon are not from Sumeru, but you are awesome as well. <laughs> That's right! I... I must admit that I'm a little scared, but I'll try my best for Lesser Lord Kusanali. If I can somehow use my abilities to help you, then count me in. Remember, believe in yourself. Okay, I'll get my friends at the Grand Bazaar to help us tomorrow. 
Just remember not to say too much. Be discreet. Yep, you got it. All the preparations are done. Now, can we finally conclude this meeting? So, have you thought up what you'd like to say, boss? Yep, yep! It's a grand plan and we're all super awesome! <laughs> well said. A good night's rest before an operation can be the difference between success and failure. <sighs> Thankfully, I've had my place to myself recently. It's been nice and quiet. Huh? Oh, um, nothing. All right, let's all go home and get a good night's sleep so we can be up early tomorrow. Okay, so I guess that means it's time to say good night now. <laughs>